Namaste everybody. I welcome each one of you to Odeya's classroom. In this session, we are going to be talking about importance of planning. Come, let's get started with the class. Importance of planning. The first importance that we have is planning provides directions. How the planning will be providing directions to the organization? That is, after designing the planning, it will be defining the goals and objectives of the organization. The first thing is, first it will be defining the goals and objectives of the organization, what it is supposed to be attained. And next it will provide the direction like uh, in advance, how, to, how the work has to be done and in which method the work has to be done. And apart from that, it will be giving a clear picture to an employee how to work towards the organizational goal. So for an employee, the planning will be helping like a guideline. It will provide the direction for an employee. And apart from that, coordination between the departments and an individual will be taking place after the planning. So that is the reason why planning is important for everybody. It will uh, be giving a clear cut picture or an idea for everybody. What is the organizational goal or objective and how it is to be achieved and then it will give direction for an employee how to work in order to attain the organizational goal. So these are all the main things involved in planning. That is why planning is very important. Moving on to the next importance. Planning reduces the risk of uncertainty. How the planning will reduce the risk of uncertainty? We cannot predict, but we cannot uh, say this is what is going to be taking place tomorrow. But we can predict, that is we can forecast what is going to be uh, what is going to be happening in the future and if it happens what we can do alternative course of action could be taken when we are designing the planning itself so it will be reducing the risk of uncertainty uncertainty so tomorrow organization going to sell some products in the market and the transportation process has been arranged unfortunately rain or any other natural calamities what can be done so uncertainty should be predicted and accordingly decision should be designed in the planning stage itself right and apart from that the manager should look forward or look ahead what is going to be uh, what is going to be happening in the future and he has to anticipate the changes so if the particular change is going to be happening means what is the alternative decision a manager can take. So that is to be done. So the planning reduces the risk of uncertainty. And the next importance is planning overlapping and graceful activities. If we plan properly, we can avoid overlapping and graceful activities. How can we avoid overlapping and graceful activities? Because when we plan everything, we will be understanding in, in which department the particular task is going to be held. So, which are the departments are going to be involved in completing the particular task. So, department wise works will be allocated. So, everybody knows what they are supposed to do. So, as an employee, they will not be doing different, different works. So, already planned and they are going to do according to the plan. So work will not be overlapped and wasteful activities will not be taking place in an organization, right? So department wise they will have a clarity like what they are supposed to be done in an organization. So this is the third importance in the planning. So confusion and misunderstanding will not take place or persist among the employees, alright? And clarity also will be there and uh, planning will detect the inefficiency among the employees. So if the manager identify any inefficiency while doing the task, he can correct and he can take some corrective measures, right? And uh, of course, it will coordinate the group efforts and their 
work, uh, activities, activities and the efforts could be coordinated through this planning. So that is why it is important. And the fourth importance is planning promotes innovative ideas. How planning will be promoting innovative ideas? So in the features itself we have discussed. So if we wanted to plan something we should have a very good uh, logical thinking and rational thinking. So creativity is very important to plan something. Otherwise until and unless we cannot uh, succeed in our plan. Right? So innovative ideas will be promoted through planning. So that is why planning is very important. When we keep on thinking about the particular task, lot of innovative ideas will be coming to our mind. So it will encourage the innovative ideas also. So that is the reason why planning is very important to promote the innovative ideas. So better ideas could be arrived through planning only. And the next importance that we have is planning facilitates decision making. Planning facilitates, that is planning will simplify the decision making. How it will be facilitating the decision making because planning means thinking about the future only. So we will be predicting what is going to be happening in the future. So as per the prediction we can arrive the planning. So decision making also, alternative decision also will be arrived when we plan something. So easily we can alternate the plan. If the first plan is not working out, let's take second plan. Second plan also, if it is not working out, let us take third plan. So alternative courses of action will take place due to this planning. So this is one of the importance of planning. And the last importance that we have is planning establishes Standards for controlling, which means if we plan something, we can compare our standard plan, actual plan, that is we compare with the standard actual performance. So actual, what is our plan and what is our actual plan, right? So comparison could be done very easily. So actual performance we can shape whether uh, uh, the task has been attained as per our plan or efficiently it has been attained or not like that we can compare very easily. So it will establish the standards for controlling. We will have standards. So I am going to do this particular activity. How I am going to do? I will be having some standards. So this is how I am going to perform that particular activity. So whether the goal has been attained as per my standard or not I can compare easily. So this could be done if we have planned properly. So this is the last importance of planning. Alright. So efficiency will be improvised if we plan properly. So these are all the importance of planning. Having understood about the importance of planning we will end up this session today. I will meet you in the next session with a new lesson. Till then it's bye from home.